People see our equipment around, see our people out in the middle of the night digging up the streets, and this gives them an opportunity to talk with our staff and find out what we do, why we do what we do. Uh, we touch everybody's lives, particularly public services department because of water, sewer, streets, everything. So it's important that, that the citizens get a chance to see what we do. It's interesting to me how um, facilities in the city are maintained and uh, how everything seems to work together. I've heard how the departments seem to work together and cooperate with one another, so that's interesting. There's nine different water quality parameters that we read with us. Well, what we're doing is showing them the detention pond. We have a detention pond here at the public services complex so they can see how the water moves through the detention pond, coming in, goes through a barrier, and then on out again. I never understood um, the danger or the significance of runoff and why we have these retention ponds, so that was interesting. We're also looking at some of the equipment we use to clean the sewers and uh, letting them see up close and personal what we do with that equipment. The city recently acquired this property and we're getting ready to demolish that. So that will come down, that'll be another little cleanup in the downtown area here. We're trying to improve the, the look of downtown. What we're primarily trying to do is help the people interested in city government to really get a, a grasp of the scope of services that are covered by the Recreation and Parks Department. I think it's something that probably everyone in, in Jacksonville needs to be involved with and, and maybe come out and do because it opens your eyes as to what the city's offering the residents and where your tax dollars are going. A lot of people generalize that we're youth sports and parks, but it's really a lot more than that. Everything from maintaining uh, state-owned roads to cemeteries to providing services from the cradle to the grave. And, and as you can see, some of the flowers are just starting to bloom. Some will bloom as the summer gets here and even as the fall heads to us. I hope they come away from this really appreciating the value that the city government provides for the residents uh, through the Recreation and Parks programs. You know, when we talk about police and fire, the most important thing that we do is partner with the community, because we need the community to help us. I'm a volunteer with the Red Cross, and I've been out on many fires, structure fires, so I've seen a lot of these trucks there, but to see them where they describe what the actual equipment does, It'll give me more of an understanding when I'm out there, what they're doing and how they're doing it. You know, the, the, the most important thing for public safety is people's awareness. People's awareness of the 911 system, people's awareness of what police officers do and what firefighters do, because we can only do what the community allows us to do. I think everybody who lives in the city of Jacksonville should attend this academy. I know it's not realistic because they're limited by size, but I think everybody should because you need to know how your city works. We hope that they have a better understanding of how the departments work and what we do for them so that they can help us. A better informed community is a safer community, it's a, it's a better community. I think it, it's a really, it's a great program that the city's offered. It, that's important that people know what the city can do for them. I felt that it was important that I know as much as possible about my city as I can. Everybody needs to take part in this. Whether they do it now, later, they need to make time to do it. If you want to learn more and you want to be more active and you want to learn how to become more active in your community, that you should definitely go through this program.